Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 22nd. We're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this silence card. It says moving in silence while you continue to build. You also have this life purpose card. It says you found your life purpose, creating the life you want. You're manifesting. Recognize you have everything you need to succeed. So again, I do feel, I mean, this has been coming up for you a lot, <laughs> that whatever you're working on could le be leading to a lot of success or a lot of growth and abundance uh, here. Even with the tower, wouldn't even worry about it. We'll, you know, take a look and see what's going on there. Uh, you know, the tower can represent kind of like you reinventing yourself or going through a reinvention. Uh, these people that are falling out of the tower, they are kind of seeing reality. The whole point of the tower is that uh, they, these people have been ignoring reality and now they're coming back down to reality and they're seeing reality for what it is. And here you go. I knew you would have a card of reinvention showing up in this reading and you know mostly because of the tower uh, with the life purpose card shows up here uh, so again this could just be you uh, reinventing yourself i would of course be careful of like a past liar cheater stealer here you go right here devil tower um you know so i would be careful of like a past person trying to come back or uh, trying to be sneaky or something like that so you know there you go but um other than that i think that this reading is definitely going in a good direction again you have the tower the devil and the knight of cups this looks like new love to me although it is weird that you do go up to the seven of swords again we're gonna have to see what that is about I'm not going to like sit here and say like, oh, this person's clearly an angel uh, when they're probably not. So we're going to have to figure out what's going on with that situation. But again, you do have the tower here. Um, so the tower, I really feel is talking about reinvention with you, though, mostly because of what I said at the beginning of the reading and also having the magician, which we'll talk about in a second. Again, the tower can be we choose the tower. Sorry, I'm like this camera doesn't even exist anymore. There is no camera over here, <laughs> uh, but my, my my brain thinks that the camera is still there. So I'll probably do it again in this reading. I apologize, but I have a new camera coming on uh, Tuesday. So luckily I'll be have that fixed. But um, anyway, uh, you know, I had a tower moment. Uh, half of my equipment got fried the other day because of a storm that came through. But uh, anyway, uh, what I was saying is I think that we can choose a tower moment. I kind of feel like this is you uh, recognizing some sort of reality or how you want to change your reality. Again, these people are falling out of the tower. As I always say, the tower is not a bad card. I think people that think the tarot, you know, that there are bad tarot cards are taking tarot way too seriously, right? It's loose guidance at best, as I love to say. And I think that this is just saying that you are maybe have seen some sort of reality that you know needs to change. And again, whenever we change our reality, we are creating a tower moment. That's literally what the card means. They're coming back down to reality so they can rebuild the tower and build it into something stronger. And that's what it looks like to me. You even go over to the chariot and the chariot, he's leaving behind everything that is familiar to him. Uh, but he's doing this so he can set himself apart. And the tower could also be a card of you setting yourself apart. You have the devil here. I would definitely be careful of like a tricky person. If you're meeting like a new person or, you know, even if it's an old person and if you get tricky vibes, I'd say if it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck, right? I feel this is kind of like saying, don't second guess it. I don't really get bad vibes off this person, but you know, one thing I don't like, obviously tower, devil, two of pentacles even, can represent juggling, knight of wands, inconsistent energy, seven of swords, lying, cheating, stealing. You know, again, personally, I read the seven of swords as a good card. It is a good card. I don't care what anyone says. Golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what but again it can represent you know putting everything together i think being a responsible tarot reader means you put everything together right you don't just look at one card and putting it all together i would say that this looks like an inconsistent uh, person to me and so you know like i said i think that this is more asking you to trust the evidence here aries and it's like saying you know if the evidence is showing you that someone's going to be inconsistent then they're going to be inconsistent right and i would definitely pay attention to that although it does look like there could be a new person approaching you especially having the knight of cups here this would be a knight in shining armor i also get the feeling that for some of you that this could just be like expectations versus reality right like if you are meeting a new person uh you know i think this is normal right we we when we meet a new person we kind of develop these expectations on our head of like how the person is going to be or what they're going to going to be like or whatever. Um, and then sometimes reality doesn't match the expectations. So I would be careful and say like, if you are meeting a new person, you know, no expectations, right? And sorry, I, I don't know why I also have um, 900 pens right here, but we're going to uh, make some room so that I can clarify your reading. But again, I would be careful of like the expectations and the, the reality of a situation. Let's see. Uh, with the tower, you have the star. So there you go. That immediately makes the reading better. <laughs> the tower, uh, the star comes up after the tower. That's literally the order. And um, 
you know, this can represent uh, you healing or healing from a tower moment. So a lot of you could have healed from a tower moment or gone through a healing. And again, this is why we clarify. Uh, this is literally, you couldn't ask for a better card with the tower. Uh, with the devil, you have the eight of swords. Eight of swords is about setting yourself free. So I do feel like some of you have to set yourself free from something that is toxic. I also feel like you are changing. This doesn't even have to be toxic, right? This could just be old habits. This could be um, things that you learned as a child. Maybe your family has certain money blocks or something like that. And I feel like that's more what the devil with the eight of swords is, is talking about. It's like more talking about, uh, you know, ancestral patterns or like things that you learned um, growing up that, but these are maybe like habits that you're trying to break free from. And intuitively, I feel like that's what this is talking about is that uh, to get ahead, to grow, to level up in life, I feel like you are seeing that there are certain habits or beliefs that you are raised with that you just don't need to have anymore. And uh, you could be like healing these things. Or you, you even have a strength card here, which is my card of you know healing from things like that. So it makes sense. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Fool. Again, I still don't know how I feel about this person yet. <laughs> it's like, there's something here, like expectations for, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it either. Like I said, it's like expectations versus reality or what you think of the situation isn't reality. I don't know if this is bad or good yet. Obviously, we're gonna find out. But, you know, again, you could be taking a leap of faith towards like a Knight in Shining Armor here. Um, and, you know, again, I, I still, like, I don't feel totally bad about this. Like, obviously, like I said, if this person is a liar or, you know, if it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Like, I don't question it just because of a tarot reading, right? Maybe for, and, you know, the thing I'm reading for a lot of you. So for some of you, this could be a good person. For others, it's a liar. So, you know, keep your head on straight, pay attention, right? Especially if you're meeting a new person. Uh, in the area of um, the unexpected, you have this caregiver card. It says, um, support, seek advice, getting help, physical, emotional healing, healer, self-care. You have this unlocking card. It says resolution, revelation, opening new paths, solutions, destiny, success, uh, significant answers. Love it. <laughs> that looks pretty good to me. So you could be getting some answers. Definitely going through healing as well. I didn't even see this card, but you know, with the tower and the star, I think that this is great. It just says that you could be healing from a tower moment or maybe you have had a tower moment. And again, a tower moment doesn't have to be this big bad thing, right? It could just be that you've decided to reinvent yourself. You Maybe you've decided to change your career or maybe you've decided that you need to level up. But to level up, you have to let go of some money blocks or something like that, which means you have to let old beliefs die, which absolutely could be a tower moment, right? If you have a habit of, you know, like always saving money, for example, there's nothing wrong with saving money, right? There's nothing wrong with being frugal. But also, there is a belief that if you start surrounding yourself with quality things, right, that might be more expensive, um, you know, that you are kind of like raising your vibration in a way and you're attracting more wealth because you're surrounding yourself with like quality things, right? And so it's like those two things are very different beliefs and maybe kind of like adopting that new belief is something that is causing a tower moment in your brain, right? <laughs> and so I'm not saying that's what you have to do, but I'm just giving you some examples here, right? There's like a million, there's a billion other examples. And I kind of feel like that's what is healing inside of you here. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles, the uh, King of Cups and the Magician. I'm wondering if like there is, you know, expectations versus reality is what keeps popping into my head, especially two of pentacles is kind of like this or that thinking. He's going back and forth. Really, it's a card of spinning plates. He's kind of like going back and forth. Really, the card of this and that thinking is the two of swords, which you have at the end, but it's coming up in, in the good stuff. And I'm kind of wondering if, um, I, like I get the feeling that what's going on here is you could actually be attracting a person where most people do think this person is a liar, but they're not. <laughs> they really, maybe they really are as good as you think they are or whatever. It's like, I think people make the mistake of thinking this person, um, you know, is a certain way. It's like, it's almost like when I, th this is gonna sound very weird, right? But if you are attracting a person, it's almost like I just see a straight line in my head with this person. Most people live their life like this, like all over the place, right? I feel like this person is very kind of like point A, point B. They kind of like move like this across a line. That's how I'm seeing them in my head when I zone out, put myself in their shoes. But it's like, I feel like they ha are have a focus in life. I think that the reason if you're saying like, then why are they showing up as a liar? I don't think they're a liar. I think what's happening here is like, the way that I see this in my head, if I can explain it, is that you're attracting a person where it's like, you know, I think they tell people that they're gonna do things 
whatever in life, right? Um, but it takes them time, right? Because they're like on this straight line and I feel like they move slower than most people, but they do eventually reach the finish line is what's popping into my head. Weird freaking message. This is a weird freaking reading. I don't think I've had a reading like this for you in a long ass time here, Aries, but it's it's almost like they do things in their own time. So it's like they do actually get to where they, um, you know, where they say they're going, right? And I think they do have results. That's gonna be the difference here is like, it's one thing if a person tells you all these great ideas and things that they want to accomplish, but they're just future faking, right? I think this person here that we're going to talk about has results and that's the difference, right? And here you go. You have the King of Cups. So it could be a King of Cups person, could be a water sign, could be any sign, general reading. Uh, you also have Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, another uh, fire sign, Aquarius again, Cancer, Leo, could be any sign, right? I just listed all 12, so there you go. But I think that this person is like very emotionally stable, but I also feel like they are, like I think that they are kind of like a little bit of a snail. Not in a bad way. You know, I think that they're just like slow, methodical, very kind of like straight into the point, point A, point B, like I said. It's like they set out to do something, they do it, but it might not be in the time that everybody else wants them to accomplish things. And I think that's something that will stand out to you. It's like maybe, this is probably a bad example, but it's like, it's almost like you're, uh, you're, um, you're attracting a glacier, you know, like a person who's like a glacier. They like carve their way over the earth, like very slowly. And everybody's like, oh my God, nothing is happening with this person. But it's like, you know, a thousand years later, a glacier has carved out like a huge canyon in the earth. It's like, that's what this person is. You know, I hope that makes sense. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but it's like, I think this person is going to leave their mark on the world, but it just like not, you know, I think other people, it's not how other people think. I don't know, very weird message, but there you go. Uh, you have the magician. Again, I think you're reinventing yourself here, Aries. So I think you are going through a lot of changes. With the King of Cups as well, I would also trust your emotions. If your heart is telling you to make a change in your life, I would do it. You know, I think that the magician, it's really important that we listen to our heart, especially with the King of Cups. Here you go. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the lovers. I think this is true love. This person could have, be a Gemini or they could have Gemini on their chart as well. You have the full moon in Gemini at the end. You have this card. So, you know, it could be Gemini energy, but... What I would say here is definitely love. I think you have a choice here as well. Uh, with the King of Cups, right, like you cannot make this up. You have the Page of Cups here. Uh, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, King of Cups. This is either a person that you already are thinking about or um, you know, this is an admirer that you have. Like maybe you don't even know that you have a secret admirer, right? It could be this person. So, you know, take it how it resonates, but definitely a very solid connection. Uh, with the magician, you have the ten of swords. So, like something about you is dying here, and I think that um, part of the struggle for Aries, and we see this in your astrology anyway, anyway, is that the problem is other people in your life is that you are changing, but they are not, and you know that always causes problems in everybody's life. I would just ignore it, right? If people don't like the changes you're making, it's your life, plain and simple. And so I would keep making the changes. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this ninth house card. It says exploration. We see a lot of moving for Aries, especially over the next couple of years. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if some of you are moving or traveling or whatever. You have this transit card, that says climate on it. And so I think that for a lot of you, if you are moving, even if you're not like moving, you could just be making moves. I think the moves that you're making are to create a better environment around you, a more supportive environment. It's funny that I use that example of having, surrounding yourself with like quality items. Again, it's like, you can you can say whatever you want, Like a good, but a good example is, is like my channel was like stuck at 40,000 subscribers. And um, at the time, I was using like a crappy webcam to basically record my my readings, right? And um, so at that time, like I had saved up a little bit of money enough to buy like a camera that I think was, I don't remember, it was like a thousand bucks or something at the time, which was like a lot of money for me at the time, right? Like I basically had to, I like had to pay that. And I was like trying to get bills and all this other stuff sorted. But it's like, I bought that camera and I don't know, it did something to me, right? It made me feel more legitimate or whatever, but it's like, I literally started growing after that. Was it the camera? I don't know, I was doing a lot of other stuff as well. Like at that time I started literally upgrading my skills, learning as much as I could. And, you know, you've all heard the story, but uh, you know, what I would say is it, it's like, it is interesting that, you know, sometimes like when we do surround ourselves with something that is of higher quality, when we kind of improve our environment or something in our environment, it can lead to more success. I'm not suggesting you go out and, you know, stretch yourself out and spend a bunch of money. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is like, if there are things you can do to improve your environment, uh, any meaning like the things around you, I think it would be very valuable. Uh, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a card of lying, cheating, stealing. Uh, it is a good card. Like I said, it is a golden card. He is stealing these swords from this army in the background. It really is a card of tactics. And like I said, I think that we all have to be tactical right now. I think that 
um, you know, instead of like going straight at something that we want to accomplish, that we should look for, you know, simpler, better ways to accomplish our goals. And we should also invest like very, very little at the start of things that we're getting started on, like just a tiny little investment of time into something that you want to accomplish. See what happens. If it works, great. Add a little bit more time and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. And over time, you will grow something much bigger. And I think that's a better way uh, to do things right now to work with the energy. And the Seven of Swords literally represents that you have the knight of wands i'm wondering if this is a, your past person here going this way uh you know like this this is a new person this is a past person so i would be careful of any past people i would i would again uh like i said this is a general reading so if you are meeting a person and they seem inconsistent they probably are right so i would definitely pay attention to that with the knight of wands and you know just you know kind of listen to whatever you're feeling here see i think the thing is is that you've done a lot of work on yourself aries and it's it's almost as if you know, if you're getting with a person who has not done the same amount of work on themselves, you'd be cheating yourself, right? So I kind of feel like this strength card is saying, make sure that the people you're working with, working with, but also if you are finding love or if you're looking for love, make sure you're getting with people who put in the same amount of work that you do or have done the same amount of work in your life. Again, I think that really on a very simple level, <laughs> uh, your reading is kind of saying you've changed, Aries, and that's what you need to realize is that you have changed in a big way and you know it's like you're not gonna resonate with the same old people you're not gonna um, necessarily um, want to surround yourself with the same old things right with the seven of swords you have the eight of wands yeah i would pay very close attention to pe what, what people say to you up front you know pay very close attention to their words i always say like i do not fault any of my exes for anything like literally every single one of them told me exactly what was going to happen up front and i think this is true for everyone people tell you exactly who they are right up front i don't care what anyone says we just choose not to listen right? We choose to be like, oh, well, you know, this person has a six pack or this person looks good naked. So I'm just going to completely ignore the fact that they told me they che cheated on their ex, or I'm going to completely ignore that their, their words don't match their actions. Right. And we're all guilty of this, especially me. So it's like, I'm not, I'm far from freaking perfect here. I'm not like preaching from a soapbox. Right. And uh, what I would say here is that, you know, what I think this reading is saying is like, pay attention. If someone says something, does that mean we shouldn't date these people either? No, because we would never do anything and we would never learn ever anything if we didn't. I would just pay attention, right? I think we all need to be better breaker uppers. Like when someone says something weird to you up front, you know, just kind of like think about it and be like, huh, that was kind of weird. And then, you know, kind of, you know, just think about it and see what happens. If in, again, pay attention to their actions moving forward. Moving forward, if they are acting like they have learned something from that past situation, because I do believe people can change, then keep dating the person. If they haven't, or they say more weird stuff, then it's time to leave, right? So I think we could all leave people much, much sooner. And it's not about leaving them. It's not about um, you know breaking up with people and just not being with a person. It's about saying, you know what? This person hasn't changed. They haven't learned a lesson. I don't need to be stuck in this. And you're setting them free as well. So rant over, I, I kind of feel like this is saying, pay attention to the words, right? And actions. With the uh, Knight of Wands, you have the Magician. Uh, we see the Magician twice here. You're clearly attracting a victory into your life, uh, going up this way to the Chariot. Uh, the Magician is also pointing to the Two of Swords. Two of Swords tells me that you're finding another way to do something, especially in the good stuff here. So if you've been feeling stuck or if you've been feeling stagnant, like you're not moving forward, it looks to me like this is forward movement. With the Strength card, you have the Seven of Cups. Uh, Seven of Cups is about being spoiled for choice. Again, I think you're just by... Uh, kind of like changing as a person, you have increased your options in life. This is a deep reading, Aries. Um, <laughs> you know, probably one of the better readings you've had in a while, I have to say. It's like a very much about you and growth that you've made. Uh, you have this full moon in uh, Gemini. It says the answers you need are coming. You have this uh, full moon in Scorpio. It says it's time to release negativity. Yeah, really, I really think we're in a time of heightened manifestation right now. So I would be very careful of your words. I, I, like I always say to people, even if you don't believe in manifestation or law of attraction, that's fine. It's it's free and it doesn't hurt to think more positively, right? So even if you don't think there's anything magical about it, which is totally fine, I encourage people to not believe in it. Um, then I, you know, I, I still I would still try your best to think more positively at this time, uh, just based off of everything that's coming up, right? Uh, you have the um, the chariot, the two of swords, and the eight of cups. The chariot is a victory here. Uh, I do feel like there is a victory. It's like a personal victory that you're having. Uh, this could also represent moving, or it could say that you are moving. Uh, you have the two of swords. Two of swords is like this or that thinking and being stuck at a stalemate. But again, in the good stuff, this would tell me that you're setting yourself free or you're moving forward in some way. 
You have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a, a card of walking away from things that no longer serve you. And again, I do feel you could be walking away this direction uh, from a person or a situation that just no longer serves you, plain and simple. Now with the Chariot, you have the Nine of Cups. Uh, Nine of Cups is a card of a wish or wish fulfillment. So I do feel like there could be like a wish or wish fulfillment coming in for you with the Nine of Cups. Love it, <laughs> pretty simple. Uh, with the Two of Swords, yes, you have this, the moon. The moon in the area of the good stuff to me says that you're actually entering into like a sun period. The moon is a period of like fierce fantasies, illusions, not being clear, not being sure what to do in life. And then when this card comes up, it kind of says like you're gaining clarity or you're seeing things clearly. With the um, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Knight, King of Pentacles here. So I feel for a lot of you that this could be saying that... Um, you are gaining a lot of clarity in your life or that there is uh, clarity on your finances is kind of more what I meant to say. I feel something here about like clarity on your finances or something. I also feel you're walking towards more stable um, situations in, just in general, not not financially. Um, you know, it could, it could include finances, but I also think that you're walking towards more stable, like other situations is what I'm trying to say here. And um, yeah, it looks really good. Definitely like in love as well. I think you could be attracting much more stable situations. You have this generosity card. So I think the universe is trying to bless you here after, you know, changes that you've been making or for breaking free from, you know, kind of like, um, you know, what do you call those? Like, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for, but you're like breaking generational curses, right? That's what I was looking for. You have this extremism card. I would be careful of extremism at this time. I think everybody needs to be careful of extreme ideas where people are like rushing at you, telling you, you have to believe this or that or the other thing. I would just, you know, question it. Uh, you have a seduction card. Again, I do feel like there's a person coming in for you, someone who is seductive, someone who is, you know, attracted to you. So definitely love coming in here. Again, I would still, re regardless, I would be very clear um, with this person, <laughs> you know, is what I would say. Like if, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. You have this resistance card. Mm, I think that for you to break through these uh, generational curses, I think you need to kind of like look at things that your family repeats even and say like, what, you know, these things repeat. You know, my family, like maybe your dad or your mom, you're not, and again, you're not saying that your mom or your dad is a bad person. You're just saying, oh, I noticed this pattern with my parents. They do this thing and I do it too. It's like, are there any of those, like we all have them, right? We all have hangups from our parents and their parents and their parents and their parents, right? And so it's like, what hangups do you have that they have? And how can you push through those things? This reading is really talking about that. And uh, finally, you have this detachment card. I feel like you're detaching from uh, everything here, just like think the, the need for things to go certain ways. And that could actually be leading to more success as well. But damn, Aries, this is a good reading. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.